So we are down to the very last topic of the course, and we're going to split it in two lectures. The first one is the lift of elliptic wings. So when I talk, we talk about elliptic wings, we are talking about a, a wing that has an elliptic distribution. Um, so if you look at this drawing here, you can, I don't know if you can appreciate it, but this is, this is, this represents the lift. Okay. And you can see that your, the whole lift is basically, uh, parabolic, okay. Or elliptic in its nature. And, uh, what happens is by modeling this is the same as modeling a wing with the elliptic shape. Okay. So if, uh, we were to appreciate this better. So a perfect wing will look something like, uh, this is elliptic wing. This elliptic wing is going to produce the minimum drag. However, the, because of your speed, velocity what well, this really the distribution looks something more like this okay so this is the shape of the wing itself okay these are shapes of the wing this section right here at the bottom that's what this really represents so uh let's start this discussion now and to do this discussion so we're going to um, go ahead and assume a perfect elliptic wing and uh, we can assume that this is the equation for which is governed right here. And so you can see that if I knew what the value of uh, um, gamma sub zero was, right, I can know my full distribution because y depends on the location of uh, of Y and B is the total span of my wing. Okay, this is my wing span B. So for the lift equation, uh, your elliptic equation uh, comes by from this equation right here. These are your elliptic equations. Um, and from this equation, when you solve for, uh, you, you solve for this, you get this equation right here. Okay. So uh, then the couple things that uh, we can keep working with this equation now. So we have this equation is equal to gamma sub zero square root of one minus uh, two pi b. This is the circulation, but we know that it left if there is um, if there is circ if there is circulation, then we have lift. dy. So if we plug this equation right inside here, you can show that this gives you this is at the stream velocity. Uh, this is its density at stream as well. Gives you uh, minus b over two. Uh, over b over 2, square root of 1 minus 2yb squared dy. And to solve this integral, we could say let y equal to, by substitution of variables, cosine of theta, and then dy will equal to minus b over 2, uh, sine of theta d theta, your limits of integration change from b over 2 to theta equal to 0. And um, uh, this uh, minus b over 2 is equal to uh, go to theta equal to pi. And then this whole integral right here, 1 minus 2yb squared, uh, this integrand, sorry, becomes one minus cosine squared, which is sine of theta squared. So if I plug all these values inside the above equation, and we can do that, then you can just show that your, uh, your final expression gives you, uh, to solve this is becomes very easy. Um, the solution is very easy. Uh, so this is minus B over two, uh, sine squared theta d theta 
and the whole integration and I will let you do the integration gives you V infinite, uh, rho infinite, V infinite, uh, uh, gamma sub zero, V pi divided by four. Okay, so that means your total lift will be rho V pi B over four. Um, but we, it's many times what we really want is a coefficient of lift. The coefficient of lift, again, this is, uh, we derive there, we are deriving this for, we are deriving this for elliptic wing, okay? So this right here is the plane area or span area many times. We already talked about this at the beginning of these lectures. Uh, so then the whole thing becomes B over S, gamma sub zero, uh, V infinite. Okay, so the whole thing simplifies to this. Um, so given given that information, uh, now this is uh, this this made some assumptions here. Uh, so far, what we did was uh, we assumed uh, the assumption was that this is completely elliptic. And uh, we also assume that the elliptic gamma sub zero uh, generates uh, an elliptic elliptic shape platform. Um, in general, in the most general case, in the most general case, you really will have something like this, uh, where this is pi. Uh, you have the chord. This is the chord times velocity times the angle of attack that's changing as I move. This is the angle of attack minus wy, this is called downwash velocity, and we will look into that equation in the next, in the next lecture. Um, so in, in general, if we, uh, if we did assume that, then assuming that this is actually constant, then your equation basically we know that gamma sub zero is equal to this sub zero square root of one two pi b squared, and then I can say this is this equation so now it can equate both sides. Um, this has to equal to your right hand side. We said this is pi uh, c y. Uh, v infinite alpha minus this divided by two. So with that said, then um, if this is elliptic, uh, so we can make gamma sub zero elliptic only if this is actually elliptic itself, right? I think that uh, should be kind of clear. So the equation then becomes let's solve for c sub zero. And if we just solve for the whole thing, you can show that this actually, the whole expression gives you, uh, where c sub zero, is the is the base gives you gamma sub zero is equal to pi v infinite minus gamma sub zero to pi. This is uh, downwash uh, velocity. We will see that in the next lecture. Okay. We will see where that comes from. Okay, so for now, let's just take it. So then from here, 
uh, what you really have is this is equal to 2 times b uh, v infinite alpha 1 plus 2b pi c sub 0. Okay, we can uh, further work with this expression. Um, note that what we, what we did here was we assumed that uh, this expression right here was constant. In general, that is not true. Uh, so you can know that how that may bring complexity to the problem itself, right? So if it's a perfect ellipse, for the perfect ellipse, you have something like this. So you got the perfect ellipse where this is your Y, this is your Z, and then uh, this location is zero, uh, C sub 0 minus C sub 0 over 2. This is at the root. That's the value. This value is B over 2. This value is minus B over 2. And this span is equal to C sub 0 over 2. Uh, v over 2, this is true only for elliptic wings. Uh, you can use this, uh, this expression if we knew the value at the root. Okay. Then uh, number 5, uh, so what, what really happens in more, more many of these problems is uh, you really have what we call uh, the, uh, the lifting line that's located at quarter chord, right? So this, what this is assuming that it really happens here. But what really is happening in your real aircraft is the following. Uh, your wing, your airfoil is really coming here. And that's a quarter cord. So your lips then comes, uh, looks something like this. Where this distance from here to here uh, this is C over 4, this is 3C over 4. That's what is really happening. Um, and this happened, this is your, uh, what we call the frontal ellipse. This is the back of the ellipse. And this is the location where your stream velocity is coming, okay? So then this uh, line right here is going to represent the quarter chord uh, line. Okay. So uh, further what we could do is we could keep working with those expressions. Uh, so for this expressions right here for the elliptic wing, uh, you have this equal to this. Uh, I just told you this. Again, this is for a generic, uh, having a downwash velocity. Um, we're going to learn that in the next uh, lesson, how we really get a uh, hold of that. So from here, uh, your aspect ratio is defined by this. This is equal to pi over 4 C sub 0 B. Or... Uh, and then from here, this whole thing is your aspect ratio is equal to 4b pi c sub 0. Then now you can immediately see how this stuff can relate to this to this. We can further express the whole thing and simplify it to the following expression. Um, c sub 0 uh, gamma is... Uh, 2b v alpha 1 plus the aspect ratio over 2. And your coefficient of lift is equal to 2 pi alpha 1 plus 2 over uh, aspect ratio over 2. Um, so if I take the partial of, uh, of this respect to alpha, that's going to give you a, and that's going to give you 2 pi 
my one plus two over uh, aspect ratio of R. And what you can see is as the aspect ratio goes to infinity, uh, this term vanishes. So your CL value at the aspect ratio going to infinity is equal to the following value a sub zero and is going to equal to um, two pi uh, alpha is equal to two pi alpha. Okay, so your a sub zero is equal to two pi. Okay. Uh, so many of these problems. So when you have a high aspect ratio, so what really happens is the following. You can have the partial of the aspect ratio uh, of CL divided by CL infinite, and that's going to give you one half. So what you're really trying to say is that when uh, this value right here is going to tend to basically go to uh, the is giving you one half there. Um, so where basically again the value here infinite. I just took the, uh, the derivative respect to this, okay? So this is the behavior of these type of structures. Um, now, uh, in, gen in general, if you have a high aspect ratio uh, and low speed, we can generalize this using the following expression. And this is a... Uh, this is a uh, efficiency factor or correction factor. Typically, we can take this around uh, 0.85, um, 0.95. And then if we are working a subsonic, for subsonic, the expression is equal to this. Uh, remember, your Mach is equal to V infinite over your uh, uh, velocity of sound, speed of sound. And then... If it's supersonic, then it's given by this equation. Okay, so the a sub zero really is a correction factor. So if you're finding these values here, and that a sub zero tells you um, using that a sub zero, right, you can from here, right, then you can uh, solve for alpha, and you those are the values that we actually can use for this. Okay, so uh, this is the discussion on lift for elliptic wings.